everybody, it's Carol. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I am a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. It really means a lot to me. I've got the peanut gallery over here today. She's going to help me. I've got a little Goodwill haul. It was dollar days at Goodwill by my house, and I walked over there. Didn't take my car because my car's not running. And, um, I did fine. It was it's just right behind my apartment, so I don't know why I haven't been doing that all the time. You know, you need exercise, right? Right, Jer Bear? Yeah. You need exercise. I know. I know. Anyway, so I got some stuff for each one of my stores today. Uh, it was dollar days, and I just ventured out to see what I could find. Uh, this is kind of weird, and that's why I bought it. I like weird things. Uh, this is a little, like, uh, what do they call it? Curio? Somebody probably made this, and it's got little figures in there. My idea was to try to maybe get the figures out and sell the curio because the figures are kind of weird. But I don't know. I'll have to look it up and see what I can find. I think it's pretty... I love the curio. It's really nice. But I couldn't find a way to get the back off to get these out. So they might just be built into it. I don't know. We'll have to investigate some more on that. There's a little tiny chicken in there. Oh my gosh. I think it's a chicken. I don't know. But there might be some cool stuff in there. You never know. And I also got some movies for my eBay store. Uh, they're called Tream. And I got the first, second, and third season. I looked them up and they were selling pretty well. So I'm going to try it. I might do an auction since I have three seasons of it. I don't know. But we will try that out and see how it works. And we got some clothes for Poshmark. And these were all a dollar. Uh, those other things were not a dollar. I just, well, the movies were a dollar, but the shelf was a dollar ninety nine. So not too much more. This is a White House Black Market shirt. Really cute, in really good condition. I'm gonna put that in my closet. Now these might have a little work to do because <laughs> there are they're white um, capris, but they've got dirt spots all over them, probably from falling off the rack in the store. But they were just a dollar, and they are really nice. They're Levi's. Um, they're really nice, good quality, almost like they're new. So I'm going to try to get those dirt marks off of there. And I got a Banana Republic tank top. I'm trying to be really picky about my brands now. And so I got that, kind of cute. And this one is a... Uh, Venezia. It's a plus size brand. I think it's sold at maybe Lane Bryant. But I thought it was really pretty. And it's a uh, 1820, which is a good size to sell. And it's got all its little beads on it still, all its little sparkly things. And I found this Ralph Lauren Polo Paisley shirt. We will give this one a try. It's probably more of the older style, but I thought it was kind of cute. Hello, Holly. You came to say hi. I know you want kisses. Oh, you're a good girl. You gonna help me? You gonna help me? Huh? Okay, go sit down so we can do the clothes. Or maybe not. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Sorry, guys. <laughs> get your ball. Go get your ball. And we got this. 
and I'm not sure. Oh, it's a Karen Scott. It is a skirt. I've been buying a lot of these lately. I really like them. It's got the little pants underneath it. Very colorful and bright. And that is a larger, I think that's a 16. So, I like to have all sizes in my store. So, something for everyone. This is a... It is a Music City Nashville t-shirt. I just thought it was really cool. That's really nice. I'm trying to do t-shirts a little bit. This is another skort. It is Croft and Barrow. It's got the little um, shorts underneath there. I just sold one of these today. It was uh, like a tennis skirt. Holly, come here, baby, sit down. Good girl. She's gotta be in the middle of everything. She's a good dog, mostly. Okay, we got this Rue 21 shirt. Thought it was cute with the lace. And I got this new tag shirt. It's next level. And it says unbroken on it. I thought that was really cool. You can see it from the tag. And it says on the back, unbroken, adjective, uh, whole, intact, continuous, not broken or fractured, uninter uninterrupted, undisturbed. I like that. And I got this uh, Lucky Brand shirt. It's really pretty. It's red. It's got some paisley in there, it looks like. It's got that pretty detailing at the top. Really nice. I didn't get a whole lot because I knew I had to carry it home. But I did pretty well. I had three bags balanced. Uh, we have a Nike shirt. This is uh, Diamondbacks, I believe. Arizona Diamondbacks. Can't hit on me, it says. Okay. And this we have uh, Dana Buckman. Looks like a pair of capris. They're in really good condition. This time I actually sat down in the store, back where they have the furniture and the lawn chairs, and I looked everything up before I bought it, because I can't play around anymore. I have to do my research. These are White House Black Market. White jeans, in really good condition. Got cute pockets in the back there. I didn't see any dirt marks on these, so I think they'll be okay. Seems like anything white in Goodwill finds its way to the floor. And we got, uh, this is Ashley. Um, gosh, I hate this little writing. By a hundred and something international. I have to look that up. I don't know. But anyway, it's Ashley. And there's a little belt in there. It goes with it, too. It's a little um, animal print top. Very cute. And I got... Oh, here's the belt. It's a stretchy belt. It's got this in the front. The metal. Like that. And this is a Forever 21. I thought it was really cute. It's got the stripes on it. It is in really good shape. It's kind of a navy blue and beige color, cream color. I thought that was pretty. I think that's all I got. I had a really small haul. But 
I just wanted to come on and show you guys what I got for Dollar Day. Uh, it's been a wild, crazy week with my car dying. It's been one thing after another with it. It's, you know, when you have an older car and it dominoes, you fix something, something else breaks. You fix that, something else breaks. And this car's been on its way out for a while. It's a Hyundai Sonata. They called him Frank. Frank Sonata. But I'm probably going to be getting him taken to pick apart or something because I don't think he's worth selling. And I'm looking into getting a new car. I might do Lyft for a while. Uh, I've heard that you can rent cars through them while you're working from them and it just comes out of what you make. So I could do that on my days off and have a car I don't have to worry about breaking down because they have newer cars. But anyway, life is full of problems. You just gotta try to solve them and mow them down. That's all you can do. Uh, what else is going on? This little girl. I woke you up, didn't I? I'm so sorry. You really are my best friend, you know that? like yeah I know and she's been with me she's 13 now she's a good dog never does anything bad never she just looks at Holly like oh what are you doing now <laughs> and Holly broke my blinds the other day going out the window well I had the windows open taking pictures for my listings and Holly decided to go crazy when a dog walked by and I closed the blinds and she wasn't quite finished going crazy, so she tried to go through the blinds. She bent them all up, so I'll probably be doing my videos over here for a while. Holly, you're looking at me, I know. So, but everything else has been good. I've been making a few sales here and there, and I've been, I'm still sick, I don't know why. I feel like I complain all the time. I don't like that. But I'm getting over, I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to get some rest. I took a little time off work so that I could try to feel better and uh, go from there. So, oh, and my granddaughter graduated. I may have told you this. She graduated from ASU week before last. And my grandson is graduating tonight from high school. Hey, Tyler. I don't think he watches my videos, but he's going to be a genius. Oh, he is a genius, but he's going to take over the world, I'm sure. He's one of those computer guys. He's very, very smart. So, I have five other grandkids I don't get to see very often because they live kind of far away from me. My car has not been acting right, so I can go see them. But I miss them. We're gonna get everything straightened out though. And get back on the road again. And I actually bought a guitar. It's on its way here. And I'm gonna learn how to play the guitar. I talk to mostly older people. I don't know if I ever told you this, I work in a call center and I talk to older people a lot and they don't know how to do things. They're not tech savvy, I hate that phrase. But, you know, I try to tell them you're never too old to learn something because I learn tech support and I'm in my 50s, so, you know, never too old. So I'm gonna learn to play the guitar. I'm going to do look at YouTube videos and stuff. That's how I learned to resell. That's how I learned to do everything YouTube. But I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you for coming to my channel. I'll try to do another video soon. And have a good day and happy thrifting. Oh, and please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.